Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about how the Elgato Streaming Deck uh, hardware can uh, sending uh, events back for your plugins. It's called receiving events from Elgato hardware deck. And uh, I will try to explain a little bit about what's it happening and and how you can catch up the events and how you're doing. So this is will be a simple way just to show how you can catch up the the, the events you you trigger when you press the key down and oh it's loading in or oh, it's it disappeared and something like that. So that's what we're gonna do. So I hope I can do it very quick and very fast to understand it, but not too complex you don't understand it. Because it's requiring not so much to do, but uh, you already already have all the code here. You can find this code on my GitHub profile, and uh, I will link in the description below for the real source code with the finished product. And uh, that's what we're gonna do today. And I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can go in the right corner below and press the thing. And I really hope you want to like and share this video if you want. And uh, if you have any questions about this video or what I'm doing, or you just have the feedback for me. Please leave the comments below in the in the comments fields. Thank you so much, and let's start encoding something. If you're scrolling down here, where we have from the previous video, where the on message event trigger, and then I'll just remove this because we don't need it for now. I will just uh, make the bar JSON object, and inside this, I'll just pass the JSON data we got uh, from it, uh, the event data. That's what we're gonna do for for this. And I will just say the event should be JSON object and uh, then event. And I'll just copy this a few times so it's easier. The action should be on the actions and the context should be the context. So that, that's what we're gonna kind of do first. So we are sure everything we want gonna do is working. So I'll just see the event and the action and the context and then I want to I'll just do this just for deeper purpose then we can go back and reload this one you can see the device uh, we have here if I'm going inside now we have uh, changed a little bit this is the device is connected that's meaning we have connected the plugin then I'm going inside and uh, then the plugin will appear. Then the plugin, the button, sorry, the counter increment, and uh, that's the action we'll be working with. And then the title params will be changed. It's because we show something on the display. And the context, I think this is uh, uh, something we can work with that, yeah. And uh, then we're going for the next one, will appear and the title and so forth. If I'm going back again, you can see this is my Elgato hardware. If I'm going back, then this will be uh, will disappear. And if I'm going inside again, then this will be appear. And if I'm click on one, you can see key down and key up with the increment. And this is the stats, and this is the decrement. So I can click on all the all the numbers here, and, and that's what we're gonna do, and what we're gonna trigger now. So let's go back for for the code editor and. Do uh, what we want. I will uh, comment this out so we don't uh, get disturbed about that. And uh, the first one to to go in for this the event. It's equal to uh, key down and whoops. And down here we want to say the console lock and I mean heat event. I'll just go inside and say this. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll just copy this. And I, of course, I know if it's going inside here, it's we can just say key down, just to be sure it's going inside and not manipulate with what with, uh, with the data. But I'm. Um, Pretty sure it's working. And then we copy this one, and uh, I will say the peer. And 
Well, yeah, I'll copy this and I will, will disappear. And of course, I want to add the console log for, for the coordinates. So I know which kind of button we are speaking about. And for this, we can change JSON object pay whoops payload, and then we want the coordinates. Yes. So let's go and back for the browser and see what's happening here. Now you can see that will appear the column one. Yeah, we can go back for this one. Column one, this is zero, one, and then the row two, zero, one, two. This will appear, and the same will column, column two, row two, and column three, row three. That's the, that's what you want to do. So if I'm going to go away again, you can see it will disappear. And if I'm going inside, you can see this. If I'm clicking on it, you can see key up, key down, key up, key down. And it's working as we want to do. So right now we can we can uh, catch up all of those, but uh, there will be more and I will just uh, type them down and we will not speak about those in, in this video, but I will, I will prepare so we can do it in the future. So I'll just do this. We don't use it right now, but it's still in here. It's okay to try out of yourself. Something like that. Then we know that. And um, I want to say the title. That's the title changed, and I'll just put this one inside and uh, then we have the device did connect that's when the Elgato connects to the system and then we have uh, with this connect device did disconnect and uh, When the application launch, did launch, and the next we want to add will be did terminate. That's meaning we close it, and uh, the system awake. System did wake up. And then we have the proper property inspector did appear. And then we need to disappear. And then we have something to send to plugin. And there we're going down here. Whoops. And then we say did receive settings. If we want get some settings here. And did receive global settings and that are all the commands you can get in the trigger event and of course now to be sure then we have the console log say event don't catch why 
and then if we catch something, we can see it in the event list. See, we don't have catches, so we need to, to do this. So that's how we can uh, catch up your events, and I really hope you enjoyed this. And it's pretty easy to do. And I think it's the next video we want to speak a little bit more about that, how we can sending the commands uh, to, to the to something. So yeah, let's uh, let's continue, and I really love to teach. So please. Uh, subscribe to this channel you can do it in the, the button in the right corner below and press the ding and of course i hope you liked and share this video if you have any questions please make the comments below i'll try to answer as fast as i can and i really hope you want to yeah share this video thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye